we are group eight. Here is our assignment one. Uh, question two point one: the uh, management the management pay for for the first five years is two point five percent. Then it reduced uh, uh, 0.25% in the in the following years. So here is the calculation and the result. And the question 2.2, .2, <coughs> uh, the management fee is paid on the commit, committed capital in the first five years. Then from from year six to years year ten, uh, it reali it realizes 20% um, of uh, investment capital in each year. So the final result is 0 0.84 billion. And uh, question 2.3, um, the, uh, the different price is the uh, current interest uh, basis. The basis for the structure one is uh, committed capital and uh, for, the, uh, second, for the structure two is uh, investment capital. So for the question 3.1, we are asked Ask to solve uh, the gross return and net return. For the gross return, we uh, we use ending balance over beginning balance plus net pres uh, net investment and minus one. And for the net return, we subtract the uh, distribution to GPs from the numerators and add the management fee to denominators. Um, so, um, to calculate the compound rate, uh, return, we, we just uh, multiply them up and minus one. To analyze it, we uh, raise the result from last question to the one-fifth uh, power and minus one. For the last question, 3.4, we did the cal uh, calculation through a spreadsheet. For value multiple, we use um, portfolio value plus cumulative um, distribution to LPs as the numerator and divided by cumulative investment plus cumulative management fee. And for the realized value multiple, we subtract. Uh, we only use the cumulative distribution to LPs as the numerator, and similarly for unrealized value multiple, we only use portfolio value as the uh, num numerator. And then we calculate the internal rate of return using the cash flow to LPs. And as the result shows in the chart, we can see that the IRR is not a typical J-curve. And this is the answer from Group 8. Thank you. Thanks for watching.